reality wrap up so guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel click the like or dislike you know no rating is a bad rating <laughs> so um I'm really bad at this whole click the button like the whatever like I just want to get on do my thing and get off but I guess to be a part of this whole thing where you're putting in the energy and effort into doing this, you need to reap the benefits. So please, if you like hearing my commentary, subscribe to my channel. I also have some amazing, inspiring real life stories about real people who are doing amazing things in our world. Um, and they share their stories, um, their struggles, their passions, and how they got to be doing what they love. So um, check out some of those episodes too. But definitely, if you're here for the reality wrap up, I appreciate you. So let's jump into it. So today I'm going to be doing Vanderpump Rules. I've been watching Vanderpump Rules since day one. I am a housewife of Beverly Hills um, fan. So I watched that also. And then when this show spun off I started watching it and I got hooked I don't know these young people are crazy and wild and I just wanted to see what they were going to do next so I'm just going to go through you know my thoughts of the season yesterday was part two of the reunion and for all my Vanderpump Rules fans you know where we are with this whole scandal ball um Tom Scannaball cheating on Ariana with Rachel, <laughs> like, aka Raquel, you know. Um, so let's talk about it. So, first of all, the season was um, it was okay. Um, Sheena got married, and from the from day one of the season, she was going, she was gunning for Katie. Like, and I think it's because since the beginning of the show, her and Katie have had like a relation a love-hate relationship Katie is very real about how she feels she doesn't hold back and she says what she means and she means what she says so some people don't know how to handle that Sheena seems to be a people pleaser always wanting to um appeal to everyone and you know just wanting to get everyone's approval but she's also real shady because she does some real unsavory things. And I'm just not sure what to think about who Sheena really is. But anyway, this season started with Katie getting a divorce from Tom Schwartz. And I'm so happy that she's finally divorcing him because I never saw the chemistry between them. I never really felt like that relationship was real I didn't see her getting anything out of that marriage that she should have been getting out of a marriage right um and Tom didn't seem happy either and he definitely did not support his wife and she's 100% correct that he always put everybody in front of her never had her back things like that I don't play that so I definitely feel like um, this was the right thing for her to do. Honestly, I don't even know why they got married in the first place, but that's none of my business. So let me just leave that alone. But I'm happy that she finally left and now she's moving on. He's moving on and they can find, hopefully they can find happiness. So going through a divorce or a breakup is not an easy thing, right? It's very difficult. You spend a lot of time with this person. And even though the relationship might've been toxic and not good, it's not going to be easy to to break up, especially when there's property, children, anything like that. 
So Katie expressed to everyone, you know, how difficult it was for her going through this divorce, having to sell her house and all this good stuff. Sheena did not care because Sheena was had an ax to grind with her about being mistreated for years. This is what I'm saying. When people hold on to negative feelings about things that were done to them in the past, this is how it comes out. So whenever someone does something to you, you should really address it right then and there and make a decision on whether you want to move forward this, with this person or you don't. Because if you don't do that, then you end up with a situation like this. So Sheena was for like telling, what's her name? Rach Raquel to push up on Tom, even though Katie said to her multiple times, please don't do this. Like it, that I asked Tom not to hook up with anybody in the group, you know, don't do it. Sheena still proceeded to make the love connection. Now, what we didn't know is that Raquel was already hooking up with Tom Sandoval, which is Ariana's boyfriend live in and also Raquel's good friend. So the whole season, it looks like Raquel is trying to hook up with Tom to get under Katie's skin because you could see that she really wasn't interested in Tom, but she was just doing it to get under Katie's skin. And Sheena was there amping it up because her and Raquel were like besties and she was trying to stick it to Katie. Meanwhile, <laughs> Tom is sticking it to Raquel. I can't. This was just crazy. Anyway, James was tight, upset about uh, the breakup with him and Raquel, even though he tried to downplay it and quickly moved on into a new relationship with this new girl who came on the show. And personally, I think he moved on too fast. They're already living together. He's already talking about how in love he is with her and all this foolishness, right? I'm not saying that when you break up with someone, you should sit around and cry and moan about it for years. No, you should definitely get back out there because life is short and there's no sense in sitting around and moaning about something that is over and done, right? But he definitely is was not over that breakup. And you can see it come out all season long in his outbursts and the way he was drinking and reacting and going crazy. Even on the reunion, both episodes one and two, he was out of control. For me, he's talking about how he was young when he made those mistakes and now he's 30 years old. To me, he still acts like that 20 year old. Like I get that you feel betrayed by Tom and by Raquel, but there's a way to handle the situation, right? And he's not handling it very maturely. It's just really, it's giving 20 year old vibes, immature, cursing, jumping up, talking about he's gonna do this and do that. It's just really, I don't know. It's it's too much for me. I, I'm not feeling it. Lala was a bit angry too. And I get that she's mad because her friend was betrayed. And also she, it probably is triggering for her because she was cheated on as well, right? But again, they're going in like really hard. I'm not saying Tom doesn't deserve to be um, told about his actions and stuff, but I just feel like there's a better way to communicate and they still haven't gotten that memo. So but I'm a lot older than those people. So I don't know. I just feel like they need to like learn how to communicate better to get their point across. I think Katie was the best one on the stage at the reunion. And Ariana, Ariana did hold her composure considering she was the one that was cheated on. I mean, you could see that she's angry, but still she wasn't jumping up and acting all crazy and, you know, like whatever. And I love how Katie's just composed and can say what she has to say and not go, go from one to 10, you know? So that's what, what I noticed about on the reunion. It's just like, everybody's just wilding out. It's too much. It's too much. We need to bring it down so that we can understand how everybody feels and let everybody talk, you know? What do I want to say about 
Katie going to Mexico, even though she decided not to go to Sheena's wedding. I think it's fine. I think Sheena was being extra and petty. Listen, if you're getting married, you invited people to your wedding, you and somebody fall out that already paid to go to the wedding. Oh, well, let them go. Who cares? Focus on your wedding. Do what you're doing and don't focus on them. Katie was trying to enjoy her little vacation off, off in the cut. And Sheena kept making a big deal about what Katie was doing. Girl, you're getting married. Focus on your wedding party, your fiance and all that good stuff. Again, Raquel chasing Tom San um Tom Shorts, it was all fake, right? There was no real interest. We can all see that. And I'm not sure if she was doing it to throw people off or if she was just doing it just because. This season, Raquel, I don't know who the hell she is. I don't know if that was Rachel, her inner or her other personality or whatever, like the things that she was saying, like just going up, telling Katie how to talk to Tom and what she doesn't appreciate, that was crazy, okay? Like, and again, Katie got upset, but she still didn't go in the way most people would have went in had somebody came to their face and started talking to them like that. She always comes up to people looking like she's going to apologize. And then her apologies turn into some crazy out of, out of pocket comment that it's like, what are you talking about? But again, I don't know if she felt like she needed to step up this season to secure her spot. I don't know, but it's giving crazy to me you know even on the reunion as she's watching everyone talk about the affair that her and Tom are having she's just sitting there looking people are breaking down and crying Tom's crying Ariana's crying Sheena's crying and she's just looking at them that's crazy to me that she has no emotions about the situation I don't know if that's a psychopath or sociopath or I don't know what the hell that is. I, I, I got to look it up. I don't know, but it's just not normal, right? It's crazy. I don't know that there's much else to say about this. I think that uh, Ariana is, is reaping all the benefits of this uh, breakup. She's getting, she's booked and busy and hopefully soon she'll be able to move out of that house and get her own spot until that house sells. I hope their restaurant opens, the something about her sandwich shop. Listen, it's up from here for as far as I'm concerned for uh, Ariana. I don't think she's, I think she's better off. But what I truly feel in life is that sometimes we don't want to progress and end things that are already dead because of the comfort of just where you are and what you have, you don't want to disrupt that comfort. We get very complacent. And sometimes God has to shake things up for you to move on to your next chapter. And honestly, that's what I believe happened in this situation. I don't really think Ariana was really happy with Tom. I think she just stayed with Tom because They've been together for so long. They've created a life together. They had everything set up and she was just settling. I really honestly feel like she was settling. And I feel like the same thing on his part too. I don't really feel like he really was happy in that relationship. To me, it just didn't look that way. So something had to come along to disrupt the situation so that they can both move on to their next chapters. Same with Katie and Tom. Um, Lala and uh, that guy, Randall, I, I don't know that that was ever a relationship built on love or anything, anything like that. I don't know what that was built on. I feel bad for her that she ignored all the signs and, and she got duped and all that stuff. But I don't know, we got to pay attention to red flags in our lives. And that's just the bottom line. I watched that whole Randall scandal thing. And to me, it seems like a low budget Weinstein witch hunt. Like to me, there wasn't anything really substantial in that documentary that they did to really make him look like a real monster. Like Weinstein was 100% 
monster, degenerate, like disgusting, right? But this guy, I, I think he's a wannabe. And he's just like going through the motions, emulating people who who he looks to, um, like who, ha who have success in the industry and who he feels like he needs to be like to attain the success that they have. So he's like emulating them and doing all of these things. But honestly, I don't think there was anything really substantial there uh, that would really make him out to be the monster that they're trying to say that he is. I think he's just a creep that is disrespectful and doesn't know how to talk to people, treat people. And he's just trying to get ahead and stay ahead. And he's not doing it the right way. That's it. But I don't think he was really like doing things on the Weinstein level. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think so. But that's just my opinion. Well, I couldn't even watch the whole documentary. It was so trash to me. It was like, it, they just was, they weren't giving any information that was like, oh my God, he did that? Like, first of all, if you're gonna get a job at a company as an assistant and your boss asks you to put stuff for them on your credit card, why the hell would you be doing that? You're dumb, not him, you are. So it's just really stupid. It's a lot of dumb things going on, people doing dumb things and then saying, oh my God, he did this to me. Like, no, you did it to yourself because anybody who has a job knows that you don't put anything on your credit card unless the company policy for travel for yourself is to put it on your credit card and submit your receipts and they reimburse you. But I'm not buying anything from my boss. I'm not going, I'm not putting my boss's hotel on my card. I'm not doing that. Like you're crazy. No. And if you don't know, you should ask. And in 2023, where we have all these young people online giving us the lowdown on how things really go, there's no reason for anybody to be caught up in a situation like that. Because all you got to do is Google or go to YouTube and put in the question, should I be paying for uh, my boss's uh, hotel? And I'm sure it will be like, hell no, you shouldn't. So again, that documentary, it, they were reaching like a lot. So I don't know. They're going to be giving, do, I'm showing the third episode of uh, the reunion next week where I guess they bring out Rachel and then they go in on her. I don't know. It should be interesting. But from the clip that I saw, that girl is emotionless. She does not care that she slept with her friend's man she doesn't care. Like, honestly, I, I don't see one ounce of regret. I don't see an ounce of anything. Like, she's just like, okay, what's next? So it'll be interesting what they do for next season if they bring all of these people back, because I think Ariana was like, she's not shooting with any of those, with any of the Toms or Rachel. So I don't know what's going to happen, but it should be interesting to see. I don't really have much else to say about this. It It's just terrible. Oh, you know what I do want to say about this is for all y'all ladies out there who have your little friends and you're giving your friends full access to your man. Let this be um, some foreshadowing for you. Stop giving your friends full access to your man, your friends and your family. Because when you do that, you make it very easy for situations like this to occur. Listen, I don't trust anybody 100% because you never know what could happen. So my mom always teaches me prevention is better than cure. And guess what? You guys need to understand your husband, your boyfriend, that's your boyfriend. He ain't the, he ain't the cruise boyfriend. So play your cards accordingly. Don't be giving everybody access to your man. Everybody should not have your man's number and be calling your man for stuff. Everybody should not be, oh, I'm going to hang out with your, hu your husband tonight. If, if you're going to stay home, I'm going to go out with him. No, y'all bugging. I'm not, that's not a sign of insecurity. That's being smart. Okay. No, my husband is for me, not for us. So if I'm not going, he ain't going either. And if he's going, 
and I'm not going. He going with his boys, not with you, okay? So y'all need to really think about that. Stop thinking like, oh, I'm not insecure. I don't care. I'm good. Like, I trust him. I trust him. Like, no, it, sometimes it's not him. Sometimes it's somebody else trying to bring in this negative and dirty energy into your life. You need to check that and you need to pay attention to it. So that's all I'm going to say. Uh, Ariana trusted this girl and thought that she was her best friend and she would never step to her man. <laughs> okay. So guys, I don't know if I'm going to do another touch point on this because it's exhausting. Do you guys see all of the posts about this? It has been going on for like months now, the conversations about this whole thing. Like there's not much to say. It is what it is. And we see you, um, Rachel, Raquel, girl, we see you, 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 you done came out this season. And, um, I don't know that there's much else to say. It's just, they're beating it down. So I don't think I'm going to re come back and say anything else about this. This is my wrap up on this one. I just think it's crazy, but I also think that there are lessons to be learned from the way that these people live their lives and the things that come out. Um, just be careful who is in your life and who is in your space and be careful about what you give them access to and how much access you give them because this could happen to anybody. And that's why I kind of love reality shows because even though the drama is heightened because there's a paycheck driving it, it's real. Like imagine if, someone gave you money to let them film you going through your life. Think about all the stuff that we go through in our life. It's the same nonsense, right? But we restrain ourselves from saying certain things, from going back and repeating certain things and from doing certain things because we it's not worth it. It's not worth the energy. It's not worth the backlash. Well, some of us, because some of us still they don't care and, and, and do do that in our lives, right? But imagine there was an incentive to go ahead and say what you were thinking. Hey, your friend Jennifer said this to you about your other friend, Melissa. I'm going to give you a paycheck to repeat it to Melissa. What do you think? You might do it. Right. So that's all that reality shows are about. It's just and they're getting an incentive to be a little extra. So um, I always feel like there's something to be learned from watching the way that these people interact and the way they behave. And when you see people acting crazy on stage and cursing and carrying on, it just makes you check yourself like, damn, I would never want to behave like that. So when you're moving around in your daily life, the way you handle situations, think about how you want to be seen and think about how you want to be heard, you know, because it makes a difference. So those are the things I take from the reality shows that I watch. Because again, I feel like we can learn something from everybody and everything. So when people try to put um, us down for watching reality shows and saying that it's, it's oh, why are you watching that? It's this, it's that. Like tell them to shut up and have a seat. Like this is our time to unwind and watch this nonsense and take what we can from it, right? So today's tidbit is, don't be giving people access to your man. Okay. All right, guys, have a good day. And please let me know what you guys thought about this season and this whole scandal and what you think is going to happen for next season. I would love to hear your comments. So just put them below in the comment section and um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.